Hi everybody, this is my review of the Robovac 30C from Eufy. Now, uh, the Robovac 30C is another one of those uh, robotic vacuums that roams around your house and cleans things for you while you don't have to follow it around and push it yourself. Uh, it comes with uh, Wi-Fi enabled, it's got a great long battery life, and it can automatically find its way to its home base and leave its home base and do all of those things. And it has an integration with Alexa, so you can actually tell it to take off or to go home or to do whatever you need to do uh, through your Amazon Echo or Eufy Genie. Um, but what I wanted to do was kind of get a Eufy's eye view of what uh, goes on. So this video here is a video I made, first of all, in the library where I work. So this is a large library, and you can see my... Uh, uh, custodian was there with me talking to me asking me if this thing was going to take his job. I told him no, quite, not quite yet. Um, but you can see Eufy does a really good job of driving around and getting through all those tight little spaces. Even under the table where these students were studying, uh, you could see that it covers the area very well and then it gets out on its own. Um, and so now it's uh, headed back out across the library. It's What I noticed about it when I let it go is that it really roamed far and wide and it went all over the place and given enough time it could definitely cover all of that square footage. Um, so one of the really neat things about it was that it was able to cover that space and, uh, and take care of itself and stay out of trouble. I didn't have to, to go rescue it uh, even when it got under tables or around cords or those sorts of things. Now here's the, the Robovac in my home uh, doing something that's pretty cool. This is edge cleaning. Uh, so you see it was sort of cleaning around the edge there. But you'll notice that I didn't move the stuff that I had lying around my house and all my rugs and things I just left there. And uh, it was able to navigate through those just fine. Um, so it's going to do a little bit of edge cleaning here. Like you'll see it's going to kind of bump back and forth along that edge there. And what it's doing is it's sensing to make sure that it's still along the wall or in this case the couch and uh, make sure that it stays uh, on that area. And you can actually set it to do edge cleaning so that if you just want it to clean along uh, the walls or whatever, you can have it do that. You can also uh, manage it via the Eufy Home app which will allow it to uh, spot clean so it goes in a spiral or you can tell it to um, do a, a variety of different functions from within the app. Um, so that's, I really like this thing and it was so much fun to strap a GoPro to the top of it and see where it went. Um, I, had a, I had a blast with that. So here are a few things that, uh, that I think are really good about it. First of all, the Alexa integration is great. Alexa, tell Robovac to clean the house. Robovac Curiosity started cleaning session. Another thing that I really like about it is that it is durable. Um, it's a really solid construction and it goes over all the rugs I have in my house. You probably noticed in that video I have hardwood floors with rugs in them. And um, that it navigated all that just fine. Um, it also gave, did a really good job of cleaning the hardwood floors and the regular carpets. Um, and this is where I'm going to have to move into cons. So one of the things that I dislike about it is that I have these really durable mats. Uh, I live in a place where I get a lot of snow and there's a lot of vegetation and stuff that gets tracked in on your feet. Um, so I have these really durable mats that sort of catch that and it didn't clean those so well. Uh, these are entry mats with big raised notches on them, so it's difficult for even my regular vacuum cleaner to clean that, so I'm not faulting Eufy for that. Um, the other con about it is that it can get um, larger items hung in there, uh, in its uh, suction area. Uh, for example, I had a, a twist tie that had fallen on the floor that got stuck in there. And it made a noise as it spun around, but it didn't uh, affect the performance. It was just louder uh, than it would be without it. Um, other than that, I think it's a great product and I really am enjoying using it in my house. Uh, my kids love it. They come home from school and tell it to start cleaning and follow it around. And then uh, when I get home, the house is clean. So that's pretty awesome. 
Um, and I also want to give uh, the another thing that I, I dislike about it is that I was unable to rename it in Alexa. So I wanted to say, uh, my kids like to call it Curiosity. They named it after the Mars rover. And I wanted to be able to say, you know, Alexa, tell Curiosity to go clean. But it has to be Robovac. Uh, that word Robovac is what you, you have to use. But uh, on the pro side, finally, I'm going to show you a quick screenshot of the app itself and some of the interface. The app works great. Uh, you can Not only can you tell it where to go, like you can actually drive it using your phone as sort of a remote for the Robovac, but you can also tell it to go into a bunch of different functions like spot cleaning, edge cleaning, and those sorts of things. Uh, so it does give you a whole lot of control over the Robovac itself, and that's really nice. Um, so I am going to just have to recommend this product to you. It's great and uh, it does the job and it's not, it does a really good job. I was surprised I expected it to get more tangled than some of the straps and things that I have in my bags uh, laying around the house, but it really didn't. And so it's a great product and I'm really enjoying having it. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.